In this tutorial, we're going to review how to manage your tabs down at the bottom of your workbook. As you can see right here, we have our Little League spreadsheet open. We have the Yankees with the player names and the batting average on this page. If you look all the way down at the bottom, you'll see that this particular worksheet or spreadsheet is named Team. We also have one for each one of the players. If you click on it, we have David, Ike, Eric, Danny, all the way down the line we also have a pitcher one and a pitch breakdown one so each one of these is its own individual worksheet and all these worksheets make up the workbook it's very easy to manage these tabs and I'm going to show you how right here uh, say that we wanted a new tab all you do is you go down you right click on the tab and you click insert you can just insert a new worksheet, you can insert a chart, you can do a macro, you can do a dialog, there's a lot of different things you can do. To do a simple worksheet, you just hit OK, and here you go, sheet number one. To rename the sheet, say we wanted to call this one fielding, we double click and call it fielding. And then we can go and create anything we want off of here. To delete a tab, you right click on it, click delete and it goes away. There's also other things you can do that are quite helpful. Say that you managed a little league and you wanted to have one of these type of pages for every one of the teams in your little league. But you don't want to have to go through copying and pasting and then reformatting and doing it all from scratch. You have this exactly the way you want it and so we're going to simply duplicate this. So we're going to go down here, rename this the Yankees, so we know this is the Yankees one. Right click it, and then go up to Move or Copy. Click on Move or Copy, and you can see right here, this is where you can manage where all of the tabs and the worksheets are. We could actually even move this or copy this onto another workbook by going here, but we don't want to do that. We want to keep it in our little league file. and. To create a copy, an identical copy of this worksheet, you just select create a copy box and it's going to appear right before the Yankees tab. So you hit OK. And now you can see you have Yankees 2 and Yankees 1. Say we want to call this the Mets, type it in, and now we have a Mets one that we can go in and change all of the variables. We can change the um, the names, the batting average, everything like that, and we still keep the Yankees one for whenever we want it. There are some other things you can do with these tabs to help keep them more organized. Say that you want to take this in alphabetical order and you have the I in Ike right before the E in Eric and you want to move those over. To do that, there's a couple ways you can do it. There's one way to simply clicking on the tab, clicking on it, and then dragging it. You can see the little arrow appears where it's going to go. So now we have David, then Eric, and then you can go and you could change Danny in front of David and go on so, so on and so forth all the way down the line. That's a really easy way to manage it. Uh, say that you wanted to do it a different way and you didn't want to click and drag it, you could move Fred by right clicking on it, selecting move or copy, and then simply put it wherever you want it. You want Fred right after Eric, before Ike. You select Ike because it's going to go before that sheet. And now you can see it's been moved. You can put these anywhere. As you can also see, moving those did not affect any of these numbers, even though it's pulling in all of these uh, different variables from these cells. So you can move these around however you want just to keep them organized. It, the other thing that Excel allows you to do is to give these a tab color. If you want to be able to visually organize them, we want to make the Yankees a dark blue. And now you can see the Yankees have a different tint. We want to change the Mets to uh, a blue like this. And now you see, as you change it, as you change cells, or as you change tabs, 
each one of these colors is now there in the tab. And it also is an, another way of making them look more professional and uh, people will be able to see you actually know some of the tricks around Excel. But that's it for tabs. If you right click, that gives you all the different options that you could ever want. You can hide them, you can select all of them, you can delete them. Pretty much anything that you want to do in relation to your worksheet can be done simply by right-clicking that specific tab.